Hey, good evening everyone. Chief Meteorologist James Zahara here with your Quad City Times weather. A pretty pleasant day today, but it's going to get a lot warmer as we go through the next 24 hours. But in that transition, things are going to be looking pretty wet as well. Couldn't shake the clouds out. In fact, we'll be seeing more clouds roll in as we head overnight heading into tomorrow morning. This is at 730. You can see a pretty hefty line that will be developing around Springfield going to St. Louis. Some of those could actually have some pretty strong storms, maybe even close enough around the uh, Princeton and Galesburg area as we head later on in the morning. Otherwise, a steady rain that will be taking place through the rest of our hometowns. That line of strong storms will be making its way off to the northeast. Still some uh, scattered coverage expected come later in the afternoon before the last of the rain drops take place sometime by tomorrow evening. Now, as far as rainfall amounts are concerned, this is what we see as far as the potential. And no surprise, the heaviest of the rainfall should be well east of the river. Rainfall amounts could be over an inch in some spots. Otherwise, we're looking on average about a good half an inch of rain before the last of the rain drops come to an end. Mostly cloudy not out there. Fortunately, temperatures, which are now averaging around 40, will hold steady through most of the night before slowly rising by early tomorrow morning. Temperatures will peak around 56 degrees for the daytime high, near record for this day, but with it, plenty of showers and some rumbles of thunder, especially in the areas more east of the river. Then we'll dry out for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Numbers around the low to mid 40s, and then looks like another wave of wet weather will be developing for the later half of the holiday weekend as well as going into early next week.